Hello, today we'll mainly be looking at earthquakes near California. In the past 24 hours, we have seen a overall downtick in earthquake activity across the globe. Looking at the Rajakins Ridge in the past 24 hours, there has been a magnitude 4.5 and another magnitude 4.5. Those two earthquakes happening about 3 or 4 hours apart. In the Alberin Sea, just 2 minutes apart, there was a magnitude 4.2 and then there was a magnitude 4.9. Today at 1331 UTC, there was a magnitude 0.3 at Mount Hood. And then at 1211, there was a negative 0.1. So what does that mean? A negative 0.1, it, it took in energy. And then there was a magnitude 0.1 at 0558. Now these earthquakes are at Mount Hood, but the nearest city is called Government Camp, so earthquakes that happen at Mount Hood show up as being at Government Camp. Off the west coast, I found this very interesting activity. There's a bunch of uh, small quakes uh, just off the coast, following a curve of the coast and all the major faults in that area. And interestingly, it seems like from this spot near Eureka, they slowly get smaller in magnitude, going both north and south. And then inland, just a little bit, just off the coast of San Francisco, where they show up as being near the San Francisco Zoo, there is a line of quakes on the San Andreas Peninsula Fault. As I've been recording here, there's been three earthquakes near Los Angeles, all just one minute apart. There was a 1.1 near Tachapi, California at 2004 UTC. Then there was a magnitude 1.2 near Mureta Hot Springs at 2005. And then at 2006, there was a magnitude 1 near Borrego, literally 2004, 2005, 2006. And they all follow a line going south. One, two, three. All progressively south. There was a quarry blast uh, in the middle of the first two of a magnitude 1.4, which is larger than all of those quakes. I'm sure it's possible this kind of activity has happened before. Earthquakes in quick succession traveling south, but... It's just interesting to see that happen live. So I was able to pull up these seismograms near uh, Mount Hood. These are all on the BHZ channel. And looking at these seismograms, there is a lot of noise. Um, I can see no particular earthquake signatures immediately. There might be some on these two. So I was able to pull up these stations in Southern California on the EHZ channel. Looking at these, I'm trying to find those three earthquakes. We might be able to see them here, but I need to be able to zoom in for finer quality. In the past 24 hours, there has been no significant activity from the sun. However, it is still somewhat ramped up. And finally, just off the coast of Baja, California, Tropical Storm Pain is currently traveling westward. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.